This video is about some points about rank of a matrix and a Gaussian elimination method. And the first point of this rank of a matrix is that the rank of a matrix is nothing but the rows and the columns which are linearly independent. So the rank of a matrix is defined as the number of linearly independent rows or columns it can be rows or columns c o l u m n s whichever is minimum is going to represent the rank of a matrix which are present in a matrix and these elementary transformation uh, which uh, let's assume this is the example and you can observe here these are the element transformation which I have applied for this row 2, row 3, row 4 and row 5 and these are useful to make uh, to convert into a clone form but here this is not required because uh, all these elements are the same and to make this entire zero we can easily do that by a single transformation and by using this single transformation for this type of matrix we can actually it is easier to convert these all elements as the zero and same thing applied for this row 3 row 4 and this row 5 so now second point is that the elementary transformation are actually done in order to convert a matrix into the equivalent form in order to convert the matrix into the echelon form E C H E L O N form and when you are having this echelon form let's assume I am having a square matrix and you can observe here this is the 3 cross 3 matrix and this is after doing this elementary transformation some matrix converts into this matrix and we say this as the equivalent form because right at this place we have zeros inside this triangle and because of that we say this as the equivalent form and after having this equivalent form we can actually find out the rank of a matrix and this rank of a matrix is nothing but the number of rows or columns and whichever it is minimum so this is about finding the clone form by using this element transformation and the remaining number of non-zero rows and columns after this element transformation gives the rank of a matrix and let's assume a matrix if it is in its equivalent form so for the case for the matrix if it is in the colon form like this example then leading non-zero elements of a row or are behind the leading diagonal elements 
uh, behind the leading non-zero elements. There are two points and these points are going to define the method of Gaussian elimination methods. First point is that leading non-zero elements of a row are behind the leading non-zero elements in its previous row and the second point it says that all the zero rows should be below the non-zero rows so you can observe here this is the non-zero rows and all these are the zero rows so all the zero rows should be below all the uh, below of this all the non-zero rows so this is the non-zero row and below this we have the zero rows so the second point says that all the zero rows should be below all the non-zero rows and we say this method which is called as the Gaussian or the Gauss elimination method this method is known as Gauss elimination method so this is the case of this Gaussian elimination method where we have two points first point is that this leading non-zero elements of the row are behind this leading non-zero elements in its previous row and the second point is that all the zero elements or all the zero elements of this zero row should be below the all non-zero rows and we have this example right at this place where we have all the elements that is non-zero and whatever row is having entirely zero is present below these non-zero rows so this is the case of this Gaussian elimination method.